Okay. Today's speaker, the original rattlesnake lawyer, is Jonathan Miller. He's the author of 13 novels and counting. His novel, Luna Law, was a co-winner of the Hillerman Award for Fiction in 2017. He's spoken for us before, too many times to count, and he's a graduate of the American Film Institute. He's used his MFA in screenwriting in jury trials all over New Mexico as a practicing attorney. And without further ado, Jonathan Miller. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, we're going to try to do this uh, with some slides, and it is great to be here. Uh, I want to start out uh, just to give you a preview. Hopefully, you can play this little video, and it's not going to be too loud. And this is going to happen a lot, I bet. And hopefully, it'll play. And ladies and gentlemen, with the exception of a few stock photos, all the photography is, is my own personal photography. Uh, I want to begin by paraphrasing a famous contemporary religious leader. Does anyone here feel the need? The need to make someone else read your stuff. I want to start by telling a story uh, that many of you know, uh, the Deanna Cologne story. She was a middle-aged singer with a uh, life-threatening illness. She was undergoing a risky treatment. And she'd won a few talent contests, but it was clear that she was never going to make the big time. She's not young. She's not thin. She's not classically beautiful. And the question she had to ask herself is, should she continue with the treatment process? She did. She decides to continue with the treatment despite the risks to... Uh, one more. And uh, the fact that it, the treatment, even though she's going to be facing life-threatening risks, she succeeds. And her voice has now been heard by more people than Taylor Swift. And I'll give you a hint. She's got a big story to tell. Here she is in her uh, next slide, in her most famous role. And again, what I the point of this talk is the disease is an addiction to becoming a writer. The treatment is the writing process, and the cure is getting published. Next slide. Okay, before you begin your writer's journey and you are about to start to chase the rainbow. Next slide. You've got to ask yourself some questions. Why do you want to write? Next slide. They say in each life, some raindrops will fall, and you want to deal with the raindrops in your life. You'll notice this is, have you ever seen the rain? And uh, I took that slide on Indian school just uh, about a mile from here. Next slide. There's a hole in your life that you want to fill. You feel like there's a party going on somewhere and you fear that you're missing out. Next slide. It's five o'clock somewhere. Do not write for fame or money. Next slide. Sean Connery played an author in the novel uh, Finding Forrester. He said, even if you write a bad book, people will want to talk to you. He didn't say it that way, but I, I just wanted to sum that up. I want to uh, the next person, next slide. Does anyone know who this is? This is one of the most successful writers of, uh, in the television industry of all time. If I could honestly say, if I could be anyone, this is who I'd want to be. This is David Kelly. He created LA Law, 
he created uh, the most recent book. Next, next slide. He created the Lincoln Lawyer. So he's had a career that's gone on for over 30, 40 years. Do you know who he's married to? You guys are too smart. Next slide. Yeah, that's Michelle Pfeiffer at 65. I, you know, he's winning. Yeah, she's she's winning. So again, writers do succeed. However, this is not going to happen to you. Still, hopefully you're going to at least get on the road. Uh, my next question is, what are you going to write about? Next slide. What a burger. Hint, don't write about burgers. Here's where you've got to make a decision. Next slide. Are you going to write a social media post, a short story, a novel, or a series of novels? In all cases, you're going to be starting with a blank screen. This is a place, in case, I, I'm fascinated by this. This is uh, in, on US-70 in between Hulloman Air Force Base and White Sands Missile Range. If you're ever on US-70, this is right off the road, and I'm obsessed with this. Uh, the next question you have to ask is, are you just willing to dump all some personal trauma? Next slide. Don't dump. This is also about a mile from here. Um, and then another decision in these troubled times, uh, there's some explosive topics. And again, I'm going to tell you not to touch explosive topics. Next slide. And then you have to make a decision on whether you're going to have a message. Next slide. Whether that's uh, Espanola, some of you have been there. And whether you're going to tell the truth or face the consequences. Next slide. One of the points of of this talk is uh, the hero's journey. Everyone is familiar with the hero's journey uh, in literature, but it's my point that there is a hero's journey in writing. Next slide. And again, the writing process is its own hero's journey. Next slide. But when you're writing, you can't just write I guess the straight up truth, you have to spice it up. Next slide. Big Chilean, that's a real place. And also when you write, you have to make sure that you give your writing some heart. Next slide. And still, you know, if you've given it some spice and give it some heart, you have to have good observations about the human condition. Next slide. The next question you have to ask yourself is who are you writing for? Next slide. Are you writing for the bandwagon? Next slide. Receive caller, or are you writing for a very specific audience who already loves you? Next slide. How are you going to write? Hint, you've got to be organized. Next slide. Even though it seems hard, you're going to have to take the first step despite the obstacles in your way. Next slide. And try to forge your own path. Next slide. And then just as you're getting organized, you are going to hit humps in the road. Next slide. And there will be, uh, let's just say, gusty winds that might blow you off course. Next slide. And when you are beginning, you will be in chaos. Next slide. And you might even feel trapped. 
Next slide. Again, you'll see it's a song, Trapped. This at Border Patrol near Alamogordo. Uh, I have chaos, and you're still gonna be in chaos. So, uh, or next slide. Oh, you're in the doghouse, I'm sorry. So right now your things are looking bad. You're in the doghouse and you gotta figure out what to do. And you feel like you've run into a dead end. Next slide. That's uh, Caballo Lake. My my wife, I've got a friend. But without hope. Next slide. There is a town called Hope, New Mexico, near Artesia. Yeah. And now it's time to get back on the road and start chasing that rainbow again. Next slide. Here's where, uh, you know, this is still in the starting process. Perhaps it's time to pay up with some. Did I turn it off? Hello? Okay. Perhaps it's time to pair up with somebody for a friend need and advice. Next slide. Ski in pairs. Perhaps go to school. Next slide. Or now in Harvard. And picture yourself as a student getting things done. Next slide. It's me at my Cornell reunion, I think two years ago. And study authors who interest you. Next slide. However, don't compare yourself to another writer because especially if that writer is dead and buried. Next slide. So here, that's uh, there really is a town called Shakespeare. It's a ghost town called Shakespeare, New Mexico. I wrote a, a book set there, but that's another story for another time. But even though you're in school and you're studying, that school has to end. Next slide. In school zone. And here's where you have to sort of, even though you think your project uh, hasn't really started, but it's dead, your project can rise again. Next slide. You will really have to start over again at mile zero. Next slide. And cautiously, extremely cautiously, begin the process over again. Next slide. And here's where, as you're writing, you need to make it a daily grind. Next slide. And again, figure out which crossroad you're going to take. Next slide. And you might even have fights with yourself. Next slide. And at this time, when you're starting to make some progress, you're gonna have to throw some things away in your writing, even though it might cost you. Next slide. And soon, once you start clearing the way, you'll start to head the right way. Next slide. And you will keep on the right path. Next slide. And you realize that you cannot turn around. Next slide. And you're soon going in one direction. Next slide. Okay. And you will avoid the detours to finishing your story. Next slide. By the way, that's uh, Oregon Mountains Desert Peaks National Park, worth the trip down in Las Cruces. And again, sometimes you're going to crash. Next slide. Tier C. And that's when it's time to slow down, even though you're on the open road. Next slide. And then, as I said, this is the writer's journey. Is uh, I guess we first you planned out your book, you started writing, but guess what? Just like in the hero's journey, you hit that inmost cave. Next slide. Now it's time to take a rest. Next slide. 
And that's when, after you take a rest, it's time to start your own path and head to the light. Next slide. You keep going. Next slide. And finally, you will make it out to the daylight. Next slide. Oh, awesome. Yes. Those are Carlsbad Caverns. And here you've got, I'm now assuming that in your journey, you've got, you know, a finished manuscript. It's not perfect. Now perhaps it's time to show it to an audience. Next slide. And, you know, after you show it around, perhaps it's time to give it a good hard look over. Next slide. And perhaps seek some divine guidance. Next slide. You can Google that picture. I'm not going to say where it was taken. And once you do that, you can begin to smile. Next slide. Vaughn. You need to put some pep in your step. Next slide. There's really a town called Pep, New Mexico. It's about 20 miles southeast of uh, Portales. And now it's time that now you've got the pep in your step. You can stay happy. Next slide. Because you are finally, now that you're working away and you feel some good, you've gotten some in point, you're on the golden road. Next slide. Golden. And you have finally hit the end of your story when you finish your manuscript. Go ahead. End our next slide. In the end, you've done it your way, and you have that manuscript, and you can look it over. Next slide. But now you have to weigh what to do with your manuscript. Next slide. And weigh it some more. Next slide. Hopefully that'll be, uh, is there something to click there? Little. And it should turn colors. Ah. Okay. Yep, there it is. All right. The now stop. Yeah. I was about to say next it's time to weave your own pathway. You guys are way ahead of me and enter a, a contest. You will face rejections. Next slide. And if you hit the button, there should be a video. This is a uh, prop shop, uh, an abandoned prop warehouse. Uh, okay. But even, as, but you will keep going towards your goal, even though there are twists and turns. Next slide. And hopefully, at this point, you will get lucky. Let's see if anyone can guess what the slide's going to be. Okay, next slide. And lightning will strike. Next slide. Princess Diana Boulevard. This is a real picture taken near Alamogordo, New Mexico. And at that point, you are suddenly a published lawyer. I mean, a published author. Next slide. Of more than one book. Next slide. You might even win something. Next slide. Little, really small awards, by the way. They're like this big. Just, just saying. Paul, I don't know if you're watching, but bigger awards next time. No. And you have to be willing to vend your book wherever you can. Next slide. And eventually, once you start doing it and making a name for yourself, you will speak at the most prestigious writing group in America. Next slide. And again, you might even get your stuff made at, uh, I'm playing on this, at a local, uh, you know, maybe some locals will get interested in your stuff. Next slide. 
And again, I want to thank everyone. It's been an honor. I have to mention it's been an honor to speak here. Next slide. And uh, let's uh, play the uh, next slide. Just one more of these videos. To turn. Yes. All right, the end, but I'm going to anticipate the next question or the first question.